Way too mini Monday. Third attempt. I rejoin in disgrace. Covered in dirt and mud, they pull me out of the ditch. You wanna go again, sir? You wanna play again, son? 89%. 100% dish! Oh, I wanna play again. The three bet part. We get there against Ace Queen, which is actually really nice. Uh, I can see the HUD, you guys can't. Yes, that's right. Just looks cleaner on the stream without it, doesn't it? I'm not really a huge HUD player. I, I don't really reference my HUD uh, particularly frequently. Only for a few things, you know, if someone's getting particularly out of line or if i got a close spot, maybe we'll um, see what's going on. Winner, winner in the 22. How about that? I'm raised calling, I guess. Any seven of clubs enjoys? Seven of diamonds seems pretty fair. So we're going to have the best hand on the terms sometimes. Reasonable outs to improve. And we do improve. Und jetzt all in. We did have the best hand. They improved to a straight. I improved to a better straight. Oh, we're in the money in the $22. Hooray, hooray. And that seems like a good one for us. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Very lucky guy in the 22 mini Monday. 137 left. Pay jump at $125 to 70 bucks. We'll finally be in profit. Because we're in for three bullets. We're in for $66. We ISO the limper here. Bet on the flop, I guess. Yeah, we will. Sure. Sure. Whoa, big stealer. There's no way. Big stealer. What do you do here? 13 of 117. This person's got 200 blinds playing every hand. I guess we're raising ace king. Thank you very much for 26 months. Over two years of commitment to this sexy blonde. Oh, you must be talking about me. Well, welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. Thank you for the 26 months from Big Steeler. Uh, and our buddy Costa, who's playing every part, is raising. And we get... We're very deep. We're very deep. 17 of 94 with 80 big blinds. Let's just make this quite quite sizable, shall we? 1,700 runners in this tournament. We're down to just 94 of them. And we're facing... A big four bet when we have aces. I mean, guess I'm just putting it in. Once they put in 30 blinds. Pretty good outcome. Big C says, I must say, since I've turned up, uh, things have been going very well. You're welcome. It's mostly all you as well, Big Sealer. I've done very little. I've done very little. I do have an ace and a king now as chip leader. Nice hand to have, isn't it? A deuce. You show, I show. He goes an ace. 100 blinds. How are we? 5 of 78. I got 100 blinds. And to my left, I got 280 blind stacks. What's going on in this game? What's going on here in the 22? Go ahead and call it if you don't believe it. No. Come on. Uh, I think they have an ace here. I'm going to fold for the extra 7k. I think they got there. Alright. I think they have an ace. So I'm just going to call maybe and reevaluate the turn. Alright. Pick up a flush draw. They have 1% pot size bet left. Um, It's close. Um, Should have gone with my read. Get that 6. Get that alt down. You know. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you. Where are where my where are my witch doctor players at? I'm a great witch doctor, folks. Maybe one of the best. <laughs> I'm certainly not that. I make I make some mistakes in Dota too. I don't, here's the thing. I've been playing Dota for uh, for a long time. I've been playing Dota for a long time. I think ten years. 
I think for like 5,000 hours. And I'm still, what, 3K MMR? So either I constantly get queued with teammates who grief me and are very bad, etc., etc., or I'm making some fundamental errors in my gameplay. Who's to say which is true after 5,000 hours and 10 years? We still have a small sample. And we're betting down here where we're third of 51 remaining from a 1,718 runner field. And I will continue to invest with my hand, if I may. I don't think we see nines. I don't think we see ace queen. I do think we see ace x of clubs. But we check, check, and we win. And against five, four of clubs, which turned a straight draw as well to go with its. Um, flush draw. I think getting down aces is not stupid. Write that down, write that down! <laughs> We'll have a three bet. Been three betting a lot in this game. Obviously, I was talking about getting a bit out of line, so it's nice when we get aces. Wow, monstrous pot. And a lock on the turn for it. But note here, not a smart individual. Intriguing. How is this tournament so deep? How does it just got a hundred blind deep poker going on here? Forty-five left. Sure. Um, I don't think raising does really much for us, so just call and we got a million eights. And it's not false. One of 37, we're apparently at the deepest $22 table of all time. We will raise calling it showdown for me. All right, they're all in, I call. It's a flip. Good start. Ace track six was my cursed board, remember that? No curse today. We're unstoppable at the moment in the 22. Wow, they have tens. Two premium hands. And only one winner. It's not mine. All good. Two nines. Very good hand. Never lost, never lost an important pot with the nines. And I don't intend to start now. Pipped by one. There's a nine. There's a heart. There's a heart. It really is. I love poker. Do, 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 do. What a great game. <sighs> it's a disaster. Uh, day is pretty much break even. In for 2, 3, 2, 4, out for 2, 2, 1, 8, and plus whatever this is, so we're winning a bit. But I mean, fuck, we don't want to win a bit. We, we need to win, you know, in nines versus ace deuce, and, you know win we don't come here to break even do i we came to win five three offsuit just peeled the queen jack six here this is a nice hand just to call in position oh what a turn gives us some nice opportunities I think checking is okay. Maybe we fold out some A-size. It's a very strong hand. I don't know, maybe we should just bet turn, slam river or something. It's a good card. Blind versus blind, we make a flush. I just want to go for it all. How nice is it to fade the snap? It's so nice to dream. And to think they're going to call me too. I'm an aggressive player. They don't believe me. They have ace nine with a nine of spades. They're having a little look. Dust off your binoculars. 10 eight of clubs. I'm an aggressive player. They do not believe me. So yeah, I think you probably want to have an ace, block some value, maybe a spade, block some value. And 10 of clubs. A bit ambitious, maybe. Kind of nice that it's 9-9x. Nine, nine I bluff some 9x. It's going to reduce the number of bluffs I have in my range. Give me trips when I have them. Obviously, I have over pairs. Ace, king, ace, queen as well. But yeah, I'm just going to bet. I wish I had a one of the suits. 
Pretty good turn for a hand like King Queen. I don't think they have that much 9x. They might they might slow play. Uh, I don't think they have like pocket jacks, pocket queens either. They might have something, I don't know, probably jamming 10s as well. Hmm. Problem is with doubling is we would have to triple to try and get them to fold like jack 10, you know, jack 10 suited, king jack suited. I could also river straight sometimes. How do they have a boat here? I don't think they call jack 9 suited and queen 9 suited. I don't think they'd flat pocket jacks and queens off like 20, 30 big blinds pre. I think they just 4-bet those all in. Same with 10s. So I don't think they have a boat. 9-10 suited. Clubs maybe. They have 9-10 suited. They don't have queen 9 suited. They don't have jack 9 suited. Maybe they have 10-9 suited in clubs. All the other boats and whatever shove. Ace-king 4-bets. I'm going to just jam. Well, maybe I, I, maybe I don't jam. No, I'm going to jam. I would bluff here if I 3-bet something like ace-4 suited, ace-3 or something, you know, one of these ace-x hands at the river. Maybe they like catching with... What's a nice catcher here for them? I guess they want to block ace-king somehow. Maybe, like, they have ace-9 suited is a good call. Don't know. Maybe they just have king-jack, king-queen, they call these. This is kind of hard for them to call. Maybe I should just, like, half-pot or something. We're in a blind versus blind encounter here. 4 of 15. And we'll be at we'll be at chat raising, will we? They're gonna have some barrels of like seven eight, eight nine, spades, jack nine, jack eight, you know, some gut shots, some straight draws, some flush draws, some worse two pair combos. See eight nine is a little bit of a concern. Not enough that we wouldn't just quite happily value bet the queen six here. They rivered a straight and just call. With 3-4 of spades. It is river straight. They'll just click call. Don't worry about it. Call. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't know why you would river straight and just call. But it's a very big pot for us to lose. But at least we're still in. Ace and a queen. We love an ace and a queen. 25 blinds. Yes. Yes, please. This guy's been a little snug. I'm just going to shove 25 blinds against them. I think so. How else are we going to play ace queen off? Come on. Come on, you know. Ace nine, oh, they, they've snapped. Just hold, please. Go on, then. Whew, whew. I will be right back. Oh, yeah, a cup of tea, weren't I? That was quick. All right. Okay. Eight left, folks. We lost another one. We're on a final table bubble. So who's getting moved? We got four and four. Who's who's getting swapped out? I wouldn't mind Wessel getting swapped out. Big stack. Although I guess that means big stack on the button here anyway. Not a smart guy, me. Not a smart guy. I was the one moved. Tis me. Hello, friends. Wow. Ace's first hand at the table, huh? Eight left. What's up, one time kid? What's up? What the Tony G? Now I'm the champ. Aces. Good hand. Eight left. 1,700 runners. Oh my goodness, what a pot. Just hold. We all can't speak. Welcome to the new table, my friends. Aces versus tens. And welcome to the final table with 2.3 million. We made it, Miles. <laughs> We're on the final table, my love. Welcome in, troops. Welcome in. This is your final table. No pink, no bink. 1,718 players stepped up, just seven of us remain. We've got $596.98 locked up. But we do play an FT 66 blinds deep, it's nice, you know? Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat is right. All right, we're having a raise with the ace chat. We folded the ace 10. This is a deep FT, folks. This is a deep final table here. Help me, dealer! I would like to bet the turn again. Up to 2.5 million we go. Pocket tens. So the two short stacks are to our direct left. Obviously, everyone else is just a very deep FT. 
we flopped a set versus the big blind. I think we'll take a larger sizing with deep on this board. This A side Broadway board versus big blind. We want some bigger bets. And I'm gonna size up again. I wonder if we want over bets in, in ICM. Probably not. I turned $22 into $5,200 playing poker. Like, comment, rate, and subscribe. You can see it now. It went from nine to eight. I get moved to the table to balance to four and four. Okay. First hand, I get aces. I raise, some guy shoves, I call, he just has tens. Just brand new table, they set, up me, set me up the aces versus the tens, you know? Don't mind if I do. What a guy. Oh, what a rush. Poor me, where's my five? Maybe I'll make a backdoor straight flush instead. Maybe, Maybe I will. If this is a six of diamonds. Oh, so close, the clean egg yeah, I'm gonna, close, actually, yeah. obviously I'm gonna shove repping the straight flush. I have a very relevant blocker here. Okay, uh, we're gonna beat nine three of Spades. Jack three. Got one of the cards. Got one of the cards wrong for a bad read. Nice. Nice. Good one. Good one to win. Ace ten suited. They've opened to four blinds. I don't know what this means. On a final table, 4.3 BB open. I was just like probably going to three bet. Or maybe do some calling. But... They've made it 150k. Do I just call and try and bang off a royal flush or something? Okay, maybe I fold proof for four blinds? I don't know. This deep, this deep, I feel like they have a hand that they like. And if I just like bang off a nice flop, we could potentially win it all in a spot where we should never be able to win it all. First light three bet we make in 10 years, we get four bet. Behave. All right. <gasps> Whoa, what a hand. I'll go all in. <laughs> ah, no more cards. This person's gone from four blinds to 2.3 blinds. I honestly, like... Imagine I three bet and he just rips though. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Doesn't even think about call. Cool. Yeah, I'll, let's see a flop. That was the quickest. I think it's chips room before mine. Yeah, yeah. See a turn, shall we? All right, I'm gonna go like 300k. Check back some rivers. Yeah, river seems too thin. Ace queen. Very nice. 370k in a prompt call on Ace 4 Deuce Two Tone Fig Bandit. All in for the rest of it. Oh. <gasps> Two calls. 1.7 million in the middle, and a, you know, a side pot potentially developing. This is a very big pot. Very seldom we see uh, three way pots like this on a final table. A heart river will be consequential, you'd imagine. Won't it? Did I have a heart? No. Ace Jack, King Ten of Hearts, it is consequential because it means Fig Bandit's going to find a triple up to 1.7 million. They're all in. It's their time to dance, time to shine. And they've got a straight draw and a heart draw and a straight. So this tournament's just going to go on till 8 in the morning, is it? Yeah. I like my hand. I like my hand. Can we find these help games? Um, Three a day. Can you do that? No, I'm on my own. I'm on my, I'm on my own grind with those. Hey, Miles. Mm -hmm. Think of the eight of diamonds. Really, oh my God. Re really tough. I can't, I can't go. Um, eight of diamonds. Should we have a check? Let's have a bet. Can't coach you. We're, we're in position. We can deny some king highs. You know, we'll never know. Could have been a straight flush there. We'll never know. Those of you who don't know, I was talking about magnesium. 
nothing illicit. I honestly, like, I don't know. Are we supposed 88 blinds deep? Am I supposed to 3-bet on a... The thing is, I'm getting to grips a little bit with ICM, right? We kind of, we're getting to grips with ICM a little bit. We might play final tables a little bit. But 80 big blinds deep? I don't know about that, buddy. Okay. There will be more check in here in ICM, I think, just because this deep as well, getting check raised here does suck, right? If he just, if he just check raises me, it's not ideal. It really is not ideal. Anyone just want to bet like six blinds and check back a river? Nah. We beat eights, we beat nines. I guess they're just going to play checks at the river. Um, a lot of ace high floats, I guess, on the flop that we'll bet. But we don't. We block hands like king queen suited that appeal. I don't think we reopen the betting on the final table because again, getting check jammed on sucks, and we are a little capped. I don't know if this person's ever going to find a cherry's bluff, but I, I think I just show down. Because they're still going to get here with, I don't know, like ace five suited maybe with the back doors, like straight draws and wheels, and then just check maybe at the river. So I'm showing down. Beat the nines. Like, we expect this to happen a lot, but I do think reopening the betting on an FT is a bit optimistic. There you go, Miles. Chip leader. Hey! Well done, boo. <laughs> so far today, we've made an eight hour and 45 minute clip. And hopefully, long may it continues. Long may it continues? Great use of the language here. So as I said, we're going to open a lot of pots. We've actually had like very playable hands. We just keep getting action and three bet and we'll fold here. Probably want to uh, continue more often with something with a six or an eight in it. I don't think I want to fold the flop with this pair. But maybe it's better to ISO pre to. I'm not in love with my play pre-flop. Maybe we just three that fold it. See the flop's okay, but we're never gonna make the nuts. Let's do river queen. I'm gonna call again, of course. I do have the jack of hearts in my hand. And it's definitely gonna be miserable if they bet the river. Not a lot of people are gonna find a triple here without a heart. And they don't have queen 10 offsuit in their opening. And if they do, I don't think they bet it at the river. And if they if they barrel off like, I mean, this, I think this is a pretty easy fold, a very easy fold. And I'm going to 3-bet fold against our stray. Uh, I feel like they have all of these pairs in their range, which is a little bit sad. And eights. I don't have any diamonds in my hand. They could just have ace-x of diamonds. Like Ace-ten of diamonds, you know? Should I shove now? Or do you think a small bet folds out more? Do you think I fold out ace high for like 450k? Or less? There's like a little six blind exploit here. Have ace ten of diamonds probably. <laughs> uh, really hurt. Well, the read was reasonable, wasn't it? They just called ace 10 high, I guess. Sure. I mean, I would still have aces and kings and jacks and queens that value about the river in a three bet pot. Um, obviously, they don't give a fuck. They don't care. They'll just call ace 10 high. Honestly, sometimes I might have even bluffed better. Maybe. No, probably not. I mean, we knew the hand. What an incredible call at the river, hey? What an incredible call. I think it's nice to us not have any uh, diamonds in our hand or whatever. This guy's going to 3-bet me. I'm going to 4-bet rep if he does. Like, what game are we playing here? This guy 3-bets every hand. Great flop. We're going to bet a blind with our range on uh, King, Queen, Queen. And what this does, it forces them to call very wide, forces them to continue very wide. Which is great when we have, you know, exactly the type of hand that we have. 
Going to have some King X with a heart. With that heart, going to have uh, obviously some flushes. can definitely see them raising the turn with some flushes. I'm just going to bet Fold River. Even though I have the Ace of Hearts in my hand. Nice. And we get called down by King 10 with the 10 of Hearts. And call to King High is uh, chipping up to nearly 5 million. I think it's good. I think it's pretty reasonable. We get him to fold on the turn. Seems good to me. Ace deuce for the win. And we are down to six. We'll raise the queens. If Fig Bandit shoves, we click call. Oh, Fig Bandit shoves, we click call. Huge pot. Huge flop. Hmm. Uh, that's not a good run out. It really is. Poker is hard, isn't it? Get on with it. We got to play the stack that we got. We got 32 blinds. We'll be all right. The, this this whole tournament, the deck genuinely has been trying to get me to lose. We we just have to keep trying to win. We're down to five. We're down to five. I'm so capped when I check against uh, Call to King High. Since I'm going to value bet very thinly against them. Bluff catching on an FT just stinks, you know? Just a real stinky thing to do. I'm probably calling this one against them though. Because they just, they just can't stop bluffing. They just can't help themselves, you know? This is uh, definitely an, a very, very big adjustment exploit. Stepping out of where we should be. For sure. Look how good I run. Aren't I the best? Blind with range. One blind with range, please, for me. And now I'd like to set up for stacks. Come back, please. And chips are already flying here. All in on the turn. And a call by 5-6. There it is. Seriously? Mm. Do I treat myself and peel and just win it all if I make a set? Uh, that, that was like a... I, I'm on holiday there with my call a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I'm by the beach, a pina, pina colada in hand. You know, I got, I got a portion of onion rings down there by the sunbed. Feeling good. I open ace eight, they rip 30. You know, I'm just folding. Don't mind me. Raise an ace and a seven. Betting a win. King and a queen. Nice hand to just call in position. Honestly, might be a nice hand to check. Although, how many? How often do we think they actually play a limp shove? I really don't think they play a limp shove, actually. Typically, we would check here, keep in, the, keep in some dominant hands, uh, maybe, and like avoid the limp shove. But I, I feel like Hushtride does not really play that many limp jams, and I think they play a fuckload of limp calls, which is really good for us, right? They're just going to limp call like King 4-0 and shit. King 4-2 and whatever. And like not ever really limp shove, not really thinking about it, just like limp and then they want to see a flop. I think we should ice it. After after my queen switches ace jack hand, these guys all just kind of want each other's chips. So, you know, they have the stacks and I don't. I feel like Fig Bandit actually plays kind of solid, kind of good, like kind of very reasonable. Um, Yeah, I think we'll check back here versus Big Blind with this, this gut shot and two overs and the, the heart on the nine high. Probably a board where they're supposed to lead range. They do lead, not unexpected. Um, I'm going to call, probably. Yeah. It's important that we defend something. Um, and we do have a hand that can obviously improve to a really interesting one if the river's an eight or something. And, you know, we're going to call off like 1.7 blinds. I think it's good. Occasionally, they're going to check river. We can do something. Occasionally, it's a heart. We can do something, maybe. On a deuce, we are going to fold. I don't know. This one is going in. If they they've 3.9 the button, 
All right. Thick Bandit obviously opening very wide. 20 bibbies, easy shove, 2 million. No other way to play it. Nothing else to do. Don't want to induce it, I don't think. Especially at final table where we suspect people might be capable of calling. Probably less so Fig Bandit though. Like I said, I think Fig Bandit actually played quite quite well. Or is actually playing, you know, well. Again, block a heavy raises at this point. Get jammed on, whatever. Always going to open Ace-3 on the bottom. Mm, I'm going to open Ace-8 here as well. And I think value betting turn again. The hunch try is good. Check back here. Beat the Jack Deuce off. Uh, this will be a nice hand to reshove against them. And if they shove, then we're going to happily call. I don't think they're going to play many jams, but it's it's nice for us to reshove, obviously. I'd imagine they open button like 90%. So, printing. And whilst we do want to play a little tight, I think Jack 10 off, we, we, can, we can defend. Okay. Sure. Hush try up to 3.4 million after their recent win. Sad. <sighs> Makes me very sad. Ace 8. Will we rejam it against Fig Bandit? Will Cry if BR Slim Shady does anything? Especially if they shove. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> A little bit of a different one here. Given depths of stack and distribution. Limp and a stab, limp and a stab and a win. Ace Jack's going to be sent all in. Come on, pull that. Ah, they go for the min raise. I mean, whatever. I kind of like to see the 3.9 now because it's like we win more against it or whatever, but easy jam. And they've called with fours. So let's win a flip. We're so dead against Hush Dry, aren't we? Yeah. Deuce. Of course we're never going to win a flip against Hutch Dry. Where, why would we? Why would we? We got aggressively outplayed by Pocket Fours. $22 into $1,764. Like, comment, rate, subscribe if you're on the YouTube. See you next time.